to me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. No, go ahead. You were saying? So I was saying, and then when after she said that, I just couldn't believe. And it was truly a remarkable experience. Don't you agree? Yes. Um, oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Welcome <laughs> back to another episode of um, The Net One Club is our name. <laughs> Like the Uncanted Island, episode seven. Yes, it's been a month, but we're back. Um, Dreyfus, would you like to remind everyone what happened? I absolutely would. Um, I would like to remind everyone first and foremost that last time we played was October 4th. <laughs> <laughs> One of us really remembered what's ha what happened, but hopefully my notes will tell the story. Um, so it all started, if I recall, um, was, you know, there's old Dura, of course, and his chief bricks, along with old Dura, led us all to their sweet palace. Um, and it seemed like old Dura was a little confused, like, um, when he, you know, found out that we basically took down that crazy statue, he was like, why weren't you scared? Like everyone else was scared. I I'm think you stop you right there. Gendering older. Uh... Oh, Dura is a woman. I should have put down the pronoun. Well, maybe uh, she should put on some I lipstick. Know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, thank you. So, um, she was like, "Well, why are y'all so brave? Um, and we're like, <laughs> we just are. We're a bunch of baddies, you know." And then she's like, "Yeah, I can see that totally. Well, here's a hundred gold each." And we were like, thank you, that rules. Um, and then they basically were trying to say like, well, we have no idea. We've never seen something like this happen with a statue coming to life like that. Like, that's really crazy. We're gonna look into it. We recommend you guys do the same. And we said, of course. Uh, so I think we're probably planning on doing that somehow. Um, and then someone named Simon barged in I I don't remember this, but I guess is this accurate shouting conspiracy theory uh, regarding an overtake of the Joaquin family? Um, they were the <laughs> this is in parentheses, so I'm assuming it's not real, but <laughs> SLM free LeBron movement. <laughs> free <laughs> LeBron. The problem is that when we take notes half the time, we just make jokes in the notes. <laughs> so when it's been a month, it's hard to tell what's real and what is a joke. I'm <laughs> going to guess FLM is correct, but it's not a uh, free LeBron <laughs> movement. Anyway, uh, they consider themselves freedom fighters. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, Let me, okay. sorry, I'm trying to read this real quick. Uh, Kita mentioned it's possibly, oh yeah. Um, so Kita had an idea that it was maybe the Ledger's family or some other rich, powerful family. Ledger. Ledger's. <laughs> um, and I think that's smart. And Bricks did as well. Um, we did learn that the Ledger family, their eldest daughter, Tasha, um, who happens to have an orc boyfriend, uh, is so Tasha is betrothed to the Stoke family, another rich family, and that is her boyfriend's family, correct? No, she has an no. orc boyfriend, oh. but she is betrothed oh, to yeah. the Stoke family, which is not. Thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, so then we decided to adventure to the Luthic Temple where oh, oh my thing just went okay, there we go. The Luthic Temple where Tasha's boyfriend lives, we met her boyfriend, groom. Um, and learned that he recently only had recently met Tasha at the festival. So it's a pretty new relationship, it sounds like. Um, and he says he knew the Legere family and happened to bump into her. Uh, okay. <laughs> Kita <laughs> pulled Tasha aside at one point and was like, hey, are you happy? Um, and, you know, Tasha was like, kind of like what you just pulled me aside I and I I wasn't expecting this you know a, a health check but 
she said yes. And then Keita was like, well, that's great because that's all I really want is to make sure you're happy because Keita is just really sweet like that. Oh, I'm going to jump in here. Uh, it's not just because Keita is sweet. It's because Tasha's mom asked Keita to break up Tasha. Uh, but she doesn't know that. <laughs> right. But yeah, <laughs> Keita decided not to mention that. Kia yeah. just wanted to know if she was happy, and that's all she great. Kia plays sweet. <laughs> we don't know if she really is. Is it more accurate? Wow. <laughs> Any the one thing about Kia really is actually never mind. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that's a shot. Bingo. <laughs> I'm gonna put there's my phone in a little bit. All right, so the gang decided to have a nightcap. That seems appropriate. Um, <laughs> and invite Tasha and Groom to, along with us. Um, we learned that Groom doesn't drink because of his religion, uh, Dreyfus. I think that's really lame because my religion is like, yeah, you should drink. So <laughs> really, I chose the right religion, I think. Anyway, uh, we get wasted off anyway. fancy orc wine. Kita approached a stranger named Bobble, or is it Bobby? I wrote both. <laughs> Bobble, Bobby for short is what. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> that makes no sense. No, is that real? That's the same amount of letters. <laughs> I think what happened is I said his name was Bobble, and Carol was like, Bobby? And I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> Bobby for short. <laughs> um, all right, so. And then Kita and Bobble slash Bobby just started making out, and then Kita puked in his mouth. <laughs> what? That's because I don't remember that. Did that is that really what it says in there? That happened. Yes. <laughs> uh, so that's gross. It sounds like we had a fun night, though. So. Everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> Everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> Um, it looks like I didn't say whether uh, Bobby ended up in the same room as Kita that night, but I'm assuming after that little debacle that you wouldn't probably not do your own. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next morning, Madame Legere at breakfast said she saw us fighting a statue and says we're glad we're, or she's glad we're alive. It's really great having adventures in their home. I don't know if everyone else got this vibe, but I think she's full of it. So, mm. Kita and Phelan went to the library for research and looked for the group of dorks in room B, but they're not, they weren't there, even though they normally would be according oh, to their standard schedule. So, mm -hmm. what's going on there? Uh, the dorks did mention the same FLM, Free LeBron Movement, came up outside of town in the mountains. So, I think we're going to go check that out. Uh, the gang being us decided <laughs> oh, uh, we're That's checking it. out flowers oh I just remember what we fought afterwards it was, trees, right? it was something yeah. like trees yeah yeah uh, it says here we got in a fight I forgot I was taking notes but Kita sang a lot we got new followers and wow. we resolved the mystery of the missing workers but didn't find any flowers I would like to just point out specifically the order. Kita sings a lot. We got new followers. Yeah. They are directly related to each other. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. Tell me what that was we a great recap. Thank you. <laughs> Um, I'll add that, yeah, you guys fought what are called dryads, which are like tree spirits. Mm. And they were mad because the loggers were cutting down on the trees. Is it oh, and if I remember correctly, I really, like, was close to, uh, you know, being friends with them. Dryads? Is that not true? Mm -hmm. I feel like I was like, we're here. We're going to help you figure out we're friends of the trees. Something like that. <laughs> I think sure. I do remember I mean... that. That 
<laughs> I see that before. That Phelan tried to talk to one of the trees and make friends with it, but then I feel like we ended up killing it anyway. No. No. Um, I think the last one you guys convinced it that you weren't gonna hurt it. But he did say that the trees will be watching you guys because Dreyfus did um, heal one of the loggers who was near death. But instead of helping you guys, he just bolted. And Dryad didn't like that. Oh. Let him die. But we're good people. Yeah. This yeah. is our Dreyfus. good campaign. <laughs> <laughs> so also, yeah that's those of you watching comment down below if you think that dreyfus looks like timothy oliphant and deadwood we have a reference picture right there for you. pretend a mustache is still <laughs> he did just shave unfortunately but mm-hmm. use your imagination this is dnd oh can we upload do you guys have one of the pictures from the party that specific one cindy can you pull that in the <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's going to help the case. Oh, I... <laughs> We're going to get way more followers. <laughs> um, DM, is it true that we would have all taken a rest because I'm still at 7 HP? I mean, it sounds like you guys did. I know this was before the stream started, but apparently everyone else is at full health now. Well, I am, this is true, at full health and the spell slots, but I'm... I'm not sure if I just didn't get hit or if I like. Same. Because usually I would not reset my stuff unless I was given the okay. Honestly, I'm 50 50. Um, but. Looking at my notes, I think I definitely wasn't 100% there anymore at the end. So I might have just forgot to. <laughs> and so you rolled a, a nat one at the very end. So good oh, job. Well, My hit points are not at max right now. Okay, so, so I some half of us, you guys oh, did. I, t- I did a No, I point. might have just not gotten hit. <laughs> yeah, uh, mine specifically says that I did a cure wounds. So I'm guessing I did that on myself. <laughs> um, bring back this... yourself, though? No, Would but you guys I'm just good. like to do a short rest? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's been a month. It's been a long time. <laughs> plus something else. So I think a short rest. You roll your hit dice. Right? Yes. I don't remember long rest. That's correct. Rest. You long rest, you get everything back on short rest. You roll your hit dice. And it's just the value, not plus anything. That is a plus your constitution modifier. Mm, thank you. I thought that's why you're the DM. No plus. All right. I'll leave one. Is roll 20 doing that automatically? Like mine says D12 plus two. Yeah, you roll the two okay. plus two. That sucks. Oh, good roll. <laughs> you don't get any spells back though, right? With the short rest? No. I don't know. I think it is only Uh, is it just Dreyfus and Ropey doing this? No. Yeah, yeah. I'm full on everything. It's <laughs> okay. mm-hmm. for you. All right, so we seem to have solved the mystery of the missing loggers, but if I recall correctly, that's not the reason we went up the mountain in the first place. Flowers. If I find flowers, I will learn how to make tea. Yes. That mystery has not been unlocked for you yet. 
So who is our nature person? Who is leading this expedition? Hmm. Me. Do you need that or um can I roll nature too just to see? Yeah, why don't we trust Tita on this one? <laughs> minus three, minus one. Right, this, can you just roll so I can see? Sure, I can. I'm pretty sure we're not a very intelligent. <laughs> oh, <laughs> cheers! I need a raise. <gasps> okay, yeah, I had a feel. I see you. I think this is why. Um, Mrs. Legere pulled Kita aside. Because I'm young and beautiful and I'm not impressionable or naive at all. That's right. No, because somebody needs to teach Mrs. Legere how to not read a book by its cover. <gasps> you never oh. know what's inside. That's true. Yes. <laughs> all right. So, Kita, that was a pretty good role. Um, the path that you were on that led you to this lumber logging clearing continues up the mountain. So I think uh, there isn't another path clear to you except back the way you came. Okay. You guys, I hate to say it, but we need a backtrack. There ain't a path this way. So let's go. But Wait, we don't see Oh, wow. I thought you said that I had a back. <laughs> okay. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. Me. Maybe I did say that, but I meant the path continues up the mountain and you don't see any other paths other than the way you came. Oh, okay. Yes. I thought you meant yeah, I had to go back to where we came. Okay. Let's go. Come on, guys. So you are going to continue climbing up this mountain. Here, that mountain. It's not really going to um, wind you guys because you're level three adventurers. You're made of stronger stuff. Oh. But the air is going to get thinner. You are climbing pretty high. The jungle is going to clear out a little bit, but you're definitely still in a tropical environment. And at a certain point, the path that was leading you up is going to start leading you back down a little bit into a little valley. Uh, I think at this point, maybe you'd all want to roll perception checks. Ooh. Oops. Your perceptive plunge. Yeah, you really are. So um, everyone but Phelan is going to notice that um, you're pretty far out from the city. And ever since you left the logging camp area, you haven't really noticed any signs of, uh, let's say, non-animal life. But you are seeing some things that would lead you to believe that you're not alone out here, which isn't crazy. I mean, people live outside of cities, but you definitely notice as you're heading into this valley, signs of signs of life. Does that affect your thinking at all going into this? I'm so sorry. Can we just take a meta back step? <laughs> I don't know if we can. Let's find out. I just want to clarify our goal. Like, I know we want to find flowers, but is there another goal? Um, I don't know. I mean, you are out here to find flowers. And, like, perhaps I thought maybe something else. The terrorist okay. group? Aren't, yeah. they in the, aren't they in the mountains, too? Yeah. There are a lot of mountains. Oh, but you're yes. so boy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But okay. So maybe this is. Oh, did you guys see that? Oh, that's so interesting. Thanks for letting me know. Maybe it's the um free LeBron movement people. Free LeBron. 
should we start chanting free LeBron, free LeBron, <laughs> see if people pop up? No? Okay. No. <laughs> so uh, I then I think we try to be sneaky. It looks like maybe there are others out here. Mouth went so soft and all the stuff. What's um just real quick? The island to the right of the map. Oh, oh free Labasque movement. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, I like free LeBron movement better. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm not in charge here. I'm just providing wait. Free Labas? Oh, from the Phoenix Company. Was our Milwaukee? That's so interesting. That, like, I love that little um, insight into how your mind works. Because <laughs> 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 it is called the Joaquin Company. <laughs> but they will rise from the ashes anew. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so you know that there's a free Labasque movement camp somewhere out of the mountains. You know that um, Bricks asked if you guys could investigate who did the statue. Um, Mrs. Legere wants you to break up her daughter and her boyfriend. That was me. Think- I think that's it for like and flowers on your oh yeah and fetch the flower of course I think that's it for um, stuff that's on your plate and where did I remember I'm remembering and the inner voice in my head is telling me that I was told that the flowers would be found at my butt just that they grow up in the mountains Oh, right. Okay, so it seems like I'm in the right place. You're in the mountains, that's right. Can I do a, a, a quick check specifically for these flowers? Do I see these flowers anywhere? Um, well, let's see. I've you're, seen before. you're at the top of a ridge right now, heading down into a valley. Um, I guess with a 16 perception. From where you are, you see that the path is sort of winding down into this valley that's carved by a river. And past the river, you can see that the path is leading back up on the other side of the valley. Along the way, you do see several clearings that are nearby the path that you're walking down. And you do know as a master of nature, that the tetralist flower does grow in clearings like that. So you can't see anything from where you are, but you do see places where the flower might be growing. Okay. Are Is, there, oh, oh, go ahead. Are there any tall trees like where we are right now? I kind of want to try to like climb one and just see if I can not look for the flowers, but see if I can see signs of the camp. Yeah, there are several tall trees. You're standing in many of them. What would I have to do, me, a stout mountain dwarf, to climb a little tree? An athletics check. All right. Can I try to help lift him up, or is that good enough? (laughs) Yeah, no, that's good enough. But I would like to see little halfling Kita try to get Dreyfus on her shoulders. (laughs) Okay, here, this is me. Here, let me help you. I'm a little- Wow, strong. you're so strong. Yeah. That youth strength, you know, where I don't even know mm-hmm. that I'm that strong. <laughs> so you're not gonna be super quick up the tree, but you are easily able to climb it. Cool. Do I see any and... fire or anything or like tent? <laughs> you do see. Um, it's pretty far away, so you can't really make out any details, but it does look like there's uh, a little village by the river mm. along the path. Um, like an established village? Yeah, there's buildings. Um, 
It even looks like there's like a little nail on her. Hmm. Hmm. Does it look like a dwarf village? Um, no. It doesn't look like the sort of dwarf villages that you're familiar with from where you are. Okay. Cool, Leo. I'm going to climb down and tell my friends about the village by the river. There's a village <laughs> down by the river. Good one. Classic. So, uh, are we going to keep going? Do Does Kita see an alternative route, perhaps, where we wouldn't have to go down into the valley, but we could stay up on the ridge and go around to reach the other side? Just not necessarily to, to take it, but do I see if there are alternative routes, or does it seem that it's just this one? Um... The like the terrain and the plants and everything, they're not growing too thickly around here. So there's no other real path. But I think if you guys wanted to, you wouldn't have to stay on this path and sort of chart your own course. Um, but there's no real way to like to go around just because like this valley is formed by this river cutting through it. So you will eventually have to go down to go back up on the other side. Okay. So do you want to get off the path? No, I guess I was just, I just wanted to assess what was going on around us. Mm -hmm. um, well, shall we go on down and all of us just stay alert? And I don't have any bad feelings about this. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Cool. <laughs> uh, are we all in agreement like that? We're all, we're all just heading down the path? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Um, so eventually you are going to reach one of those clearings that Kita saw. Uh, it will require you to get off the path a little bit to reach these clearings. So, is that something you'd want to do? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Can I um, do uh, a, a perception check as we get closer to that area, or is that necessary? No, you can't. Or well, if I'm specifically looking for any kind of predatory animals that may be hiding, because Kita, I feel like. You know, Kita wasn't trained to be like a soldier, but this was the kind of thing she was like trained for growing up was like leading the expeditions like outside of our main part and like keeping an eye on predators. So before we move into the busier area to reach that clearing, is there anything that draws my attention? Yeah, so you're like smelling the air listening keenly, that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, OK. I think for that, it would be a survival check. OK. <gasps> um, you can tell that you guys aren't alone up here. OK. But whatever it is, <laughs> what's that? Do I feel like we're surrounded or just feel like there are people watching us? I think you would feel like this sort of sixth sense kind of thing where it feels like you're being watched or whatever it is that's out there isn't revealing itself. <laughs> okay. I think then I would, as loudly as I possibly can, say we are here to harvest whatever kind of flowers the name of the flower it is that we're trying to get I don't remember what it's called we are here to harvest blah 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 I feel your presence around us we mean you no harm let us pass through and you can continue on with your business as you please 
And then I'm just going to kind of say that. And then to the group, be like, I feel that there are others watching us. So all of us stay alert. Now let's go pick some flowers. <laughs> Can I roll a perception after she says that? Yeah, I feel like you would all roll perceptions after hearing that. Oh no. <laughs> Dry this, you can't really put your finger on it, but yeah, you feel it too. Seems like you're being watched. And is it, didn't the trees say they were going to be watching over us or something? They did say that. It's just mm. the trees. <laughs> <laughs> and Balin is also Balin. there. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, with, with all that, are you guys going to head into the clearing? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think I would stay in our spot. And as the group is entering into the clearing, I would kind of have my bow and arrow, not like up and ready, but you know, down and ready so that if I see anything coming towards them, I can try to take care of that. So I wouldn't move forward with them, but I would keep an eye on them. Okay. Um, so you guys are going to enter a clearing, um, not unlike the one we're currently looking at, isn't that but carpeting the floor, unlike the past long ago, are these flowers. There's so many beautiful flowers. Wow. And Kita, you're going to recognize them immediately as the Tetralis flowers. Um, is that the one we're looking for? It is. <gasps> Look at those flowers, you guys. I can see them from over here where I'm standing. There they are. Oh, yeah. You didn't go there. <laughs> wow. Super. Well, you obviously told your friends what the flowers look like. Of course. They are pinkish, peachy, a little spotty, and so gorgeous. Um, <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to delete that, but we know what they look like. So I think you all got jars, right? Yes. <laughs> like, oh yeah, they did give us jars, right? That happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I guess I feel like something's going to happen when we pick one, but <laughs> can I pick up? I would like to run up and fill my jar to the brim with flowers. Yeah, nothing's stopping you. Sweet. Hey, Kita, throw over your jar. I or toss maybe... it on over. <laughs> so are you, like, um, are you staying on the road or, like, the path? Uh, yeah, how, I guess I should ask, how far away is the road from the clearing? Is it, like... It's, like, a... it's like 50 feet. Oh, Okay. Then, yes, yeah, I think I would stay on the road and just try to be hyper observant. Okay. Yeah. My job is the protector, not the gatherer. In that case, I'll bring my jar full <laughs> to Kida and then ask for her jar. I don't want to risk throwing it 50 feet. <laughs> I have a strong arm, but okay, here we go. I, I was worried about me catching it. <laughs> also, there's like trees and shrubs in the way. Yeah. Here you go. Let's trade these. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So you guys are filling up your jars filled uh, with these Tetralis flowers. Uh, as you're doing that, uh, Dreyfus, I think maybe you had uh, the right intuition. Something is going to happen. A lovely dwarf woman is going to announce her presence and come out through the clearing and like have her hands up and say, hello, friends. 
Welcome to the valley. Can I ask what you're doing here? We're picking these gorgeous flowers. And may I say you're gorgeous as well. <laughs> <laughs> Get it, Perkita wants a roller perception. Did um was she into that or did she think it was totally gross? I'm sorry, Kita, you're not actually there. <laughs> oh, you're walking through. I thought it was when he got back over to me to exchange the jars. Oh no. <laughs> um but yeah, everyone else is free to roll perceptions to see how she responded to that. I want to see how she responded. <laughs> <laughs> Using it so smooth. Ooh, get it, twenty one blackjack. Um, Phelan. <laughs> oh no, honestly, even a ten would see this. She's smiling. She appreciates I mean, I just stroke my beard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. So she's gonna say yes. I can see that you all are picking the tetris flowers of course you're free to do so but is that all you're here for i want to say no my beautiful dwarven lass what we're here for is to find our friends and who are your friends Who are your friends? <laughs> uh, well, there's my mom, mother, my my <laughs> my sisters. Uh, Let me ask you this: What is your opinion on the Joaquin Phoenix Company? Oh, that's why you called it Phoenix. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, she's gonna do kind of like a knowing smile and a half chuckle. What are your opinions on can the I, Phoenix Company? Can I insight her to see if she like to see how she responded to your question? Yeah, like whether it was like she likes them or not kind of <laughs> take a shot oh is it a, i'm on the notes page oh, oh, cheers not one clue so um as i said she did a little half smile chuckle and said what are your opinions on the joaquin phoenix company they suck I'm going to say, well, feelings, opinions, whatever, you know, but um, what I will say is that I, my friends wouldn't really want to be known by everybody. Especially okay. by people who are in the Joaquin Phoenix company. She's going to say, okay, I think I know what you're saying. Would you all like to come back to my village for a visit? Are we going to be safe there? course and i'm sure the journey here wasn't so easy so, but do you think we'll be among like-minded people i think you will be among friends who also don't want to be known by the walking phoenix company yes i would like to go to your village please <laughs> um yeah, I mean, her mind was pretty much made up when Dreyfus said that they sucked. Uh, <laughs> I think, I think you guys are um, 
being visited by a friend of the world. Um, but are you going to take her up on her invitation? Yes. I would like I go. to. I want to say, Kira, Kira, pumpkin eater, <laughs> come to us. I the boys and throw up in the mouth. Yes. <laughs> 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 Um, she's going to say, great, by the way, my name is Varna. What Mar are your names? Our name is Dreyfus. <laughs> Varna. I wouldn't actually say that, but my name is Dreyfus Divinicus, a fellow dwarf. <laughs> Very uh, simple. <laughs> are you? I assume you're all just going to introduce yourselves. Oh yes, yeah. Kita, Kita, I'm Kita. Hi. You're sneaky. I was looking out for people, and I didn't even see you. You know, I have to say, I really, really respect that kind of skill. She's going to say thank you. Uh, I'm sure my friends would appreciate that compliment as well. And when she says that, uh, out of the trees surrounding the clearing uh, are going to, it's almost like they're just melting into your vision, like 10 uh, warriors, we'll call them. Barna! Oh my god, I'm gonna be like, you guys, wow, round of applause. I mean, really? <laughs> I had a feeling and I couldn't put my thumb on it, but wow, that is skill. Thank you. They all do little nods and bows. <laughs> um, we can just never be too careful, of course, but it does seem like you all are just interested in picking flowers. That's fine by us. So please. Join us. Join us at our village. Um, so they're going to escort you, if you're cool with it. Are they down all down the path? No. So she's a dwarf. Uh, she is well amongst the party that received you. She's the only dwarf. The rest are a mix of orcs and half orcs and humans. Mm -hmm. No halflings. No halflings. Oh, okay. Still looking for love. <laughs> so eventually, you guys are going to make it down this path to the river. And at the river is a little village, like Dreyfus saw from the tree. And uh, it's, it's not very big. I'd say there's about like 50 to 60 people living here. There's uh, a few plots for gardens. There is a mill um, along the river, and it just seems like a pretty typical uh, tiny village in Labasque. And they're going to like show you to like the the common hall where everyone gathers. There isn't like a tavern or anything, but there is like a a hall where where the townsfolk can gather and. And they say, you, you're all welcome to rest here if you'd like, um, if you need anything. Please don't hesitate to ask. We've got plenty of food, plenty of water. Um, and the ale. Welcome. In the ale? Please. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you going to ask Barna? Yeah. She's going to give you a little wink and say, what kind of dwarf would I be if I didn't have a That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, baby. And she's going to hand you <laughs> something, uh, a little a little skin from her from her belt. So you can drink some of this. Mm. I'm going to be like, so Marna, are you like one of the most important families here? Like, are you and your husband just like so like big in charge here or are you like a single gal out on the prowl like myself 
Thank you so much for asking, Kita. It is Varna. Uh, I thought it was Varna. I know. <laughs> I know you thought it was Varna. Varna. Yeah. So she would say that she's not, uh, she's no more important than any other member of the village. They all, they all um, pitch in their fair share. Yeah. And what about like your boyfriend or your husband or a partner? Oh, I don't have a. <gasps> oh my God. And I'm going to like elbow Dreyfus. <laughs> Yeah. That is. I think I'm gonna wow. like, spit out my drink a little bit. And start <laughs> well, you know, oh my god, I actually see one of my friends waving to me, so I'm gonna leave you guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, are you gonna spit some game, Dreyfus, or what's going on here? <laughs> no, I feel like I don't want to come on too strong, but I'll definitely, you know, continue like just passing the Ooh, drink back and forth, you know. Maybe like try to make a little hand contact as I'm handing it back, you know. Wow. Try to play okay. it. Now. <laughs> Roki, what are you doing? We're laughing. Or I mean not <laughs> Roki. We're laughing inside. Just picturing a little hand contact. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> I guess maybe I wanna go out and explore a little bit and just Look at the town, see what all is there. Okay. Well, you're definitely in probably the biggest building. It's like a multi-purpose hall. So like this is where they would gather for town meetings or something. It's where they come to party at night. Uh, but there are also just several homes. And the only other really big building is the mill, which is like a water mill on the river. And it's just used to like grind up crops to make ground up crops very simple place okay i maybe do like a lap you know around the town can i maybe eavesdrop if i see any people to hear if they're talking about anything interesting yeah how about you roll um you're looking for interesting stuff so why don't you roll an investigation check Ooh, yeah. <laughs> well, you don't really see too much interesting, but I will say that, as I said, there's about 50 to 60 people living here. Uh, I'd say about half of them just look to be like, you know, they're farming, they're growing their own food, and this is just their life. But the other half are pretty heavily armed. Hmm. And you said it's sort of a mix of races, like dwarves, half orcs. Yeah. Do I there see are any, a like humans of... or? Yeah. So there are a couple other dwarves besides Varna. Um, there's a fair amount of humans. Uh, there are a couple halflings as well, but the majority of the village are half orcs and orcs. Okay. Cool. I'll probably just take a quick lap around the town and then go back. Balin, what are you doing? Oh, you're muted. I would like to make some friends. <laughs> um, I guess I want to go to um, Verna. Well, Verna. It's Mar Marna. <laughs> Marna. And just like ask her who I might want to chat with in town. Um, uh, I'm going to say, listen, I know it's not polite, but I love to talk politics. So who might I go meet up with if I wanted to discuss, uh, you know, a revolution, <laughs> the comings and goings of politicians companies <laughs> royalty mm. uh well yeah there's no there's no lack of people also interested in politics here uh as i said it's not like we're huge fans of the company 
So you probably want to talk to Bezit. Bezit. Where might I find Bezit? Um, well, she'll point you to um, just one of the unassuming looking homes. And she'll say, uh, I believe that they're having a meeting at the moment, but. What is Bezin's favorite treat? Bezin's favorite what? Treat. Treat. Gosh, I don't know. Um, wow, my bad friend. I've never asked him what his favorite treat is. <laughs> um, I'm sure he likes a good wine. Do you want, can I buy your best bottle of wine that you have here? Oh, house. we don't have we don't have anything for sale. We don't. No, I know, anything. but just you know, friend to friend. I'll give you some. Yeah, and I'll just give you a little something too. I could, please. I insist you take some of my wine, and if you try to offer me anything in return, I'm simply not going to accept it. Okay. Can I have your best bottle of wine though? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Pay for it. No, it's not for sale, but I am going to give you some wine. Okay, fine. I'm going to take it. I'm going to walk out, and as I walk out, I'm going to go and drop a gold piece. Okay. okay. She saw that, and she's rolling her eyes. <laughs> and then I'm just going to head to bed and with this wine. Okay. You going to bring anyone with you? No. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what are you gonna do? The door's closed. The I'm window's open. Um. Okay. You knock. I'm not gonna. And an uh, an orc answers the door. Hello, I'm looking for Mr. Bezin. Um, he's gonna look at you. Say, I don't know who you are. I know, I know. I'm a new friend. Varna sent me. He's gonna like look past you over to the the outside the communal hall where you were just at. And Varna's gonna wave to him. And he's gonna say, Oh, okay. Uh what are you doing here? Well, um I heard that there may be a group of like-minded individuals convening in this room, and I wanted to make their acquaintance, you, you all. <laughs> so, um, this guy's going to look kind of confused, but from behind him, outside of your field of vision, you're going to hear, I recognize that voice. Oh my god, is it a dork? It's not a dork, but the guy at the door is going to open the door wider. Oh my god, it's the guy from the that's friends with the guy. And you're going to see the guy that was friends with the guy. <laughs> um, but it's interesting, you don't know him as Bezin. Uh, you know him as Kurask. I'm going to say Kurask? And he's going to kind of laugh and say, I have many names. I'm going to say, are you Bezin? I am Bezin, yes. I'm going to say, come here, give me a hug. I brought you a present. Oh. He's going to laugh and say, um, God, what was your guys' joke? You guys made a joke together. Oh, you said Henrik wanted to marry the king. And so he's going to make a fun little joke about that. <laughs> <laughs> I would have said, yeah, Henrik's a little brat. <laughs> he, um, he is going to ask you if Henrik and Kyle are okay. Oh, they're totally fine. Were you there for the statue that came alive? What are you talking about? Oh, a statue came alive at the festival and we killed it. 
But Henrik and Kyle are fine. We saved them. Oh. He's going to look kind of concerned at that. Uh, Can I insight him to make it seem like if he's really actually surprised? Yeah. He does seem really actually surprised. Okay. I'm going to say, and then I'm going to go up to him and I'm going to whisper. I'm going to say, I forgot his first name. Karask? Karask. I'm going to say, hey, Karask. Is this a BM movement? <laughs> IBS group. MLM? LLC? Is this Karask saying this? Um, he's going to say, yes, Phelan, I thought maybe you had caught on to this. Okay, I, I am a member of the Free Labasque movement. Yes. Okay. Cool. Are your friends here? What happened to your friends? Oh, yeah, they're around. <laughs> okay. Everyone's but good? Yeah, I can tell you more about the statue that came alive. And we can, you know, talk shop and drink this wine. Kiss each okay. other. <laughs> Interesting. Um, sure. I mean, we are in the middle of a meeting, but we're just, we're about to wrap it up. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I can wait. Can I sit in? Certainly. <laughs> Great. So um, they're going to get back to talking, talking shop, as it were. Um, they're going to be discussing some plans that, uh, well, you don't really understand what they're talking about, but they are just about done. So... Uh, the meeting officially ends. People are just kind of milling about. And he is going to walk back up to you and say, um, let's go back to the hall. I'd like to, I'd love to see, see how everyone's doing. Yeah. Oh, and then before we leave, though, I'm going to say, like, listen, you know, I originally went to jail for organizing against people. I'm sure I told you about this. Did I tell you about this? I don't know that you brought this up to him, actually. Oh, and I would say, and I'm just so angry. And but now, you know, I'm rehabilitated and I'm ready to get out there. Cause a ruckus. So, you know, I, I, like it would be cool to be more involved with you and your group if you would have me. Um, I think we would be honored to have. Uh, what do you think about, would your friends want to join too? Um, it is, it's not an easy life that we live out here. It's hard to say. I don't think they're as passionate about the cause as I am. But um, yeah, probably everybody but Keto would join. <laughs> 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 Or consider okay. it. But, you know, I am really more of the revolutionary of the group, so. The All right, people. well, <laughs> you are certainly welcome to join our organization. And maybe we can convince your friends to join, too. Yeah, that would be great. The more the you guys are, You guys are discussing this as you're walking back to the hall. So I think... Um, Dreyfus and Kita and Ropi are all going to recognize this guy walking next to Phelan on the way back. This is, it's Kuras, guys. Hey, you. And he's best in here. <gasps> Long time no see. Oh my God, how are you? Yeah, does anyone remember the last time you guys saw Kuras slash Bezin? No, but Kita's doing that thing where she's being like nice and hoping that he says his name to someone else so she hears it and remembers it. Okay. Who is like looking in the wagon, right? Or 
What's that? He wasn't the one who tried to rob the wagon, right? No. no, he was the one that we helped fix his wagon. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. How's that wagon holding up, buddy? <laughs> He's going to say very good, thanks to you. I'm going to look over at Bart and be like, yeah, I fixed his wagon when we passed by. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna I'm she. Her up the order. She is going to be pretty impressed that you know, you know, Bezin. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Drivers is going to get a big warm tonight. Oh, God. <laughs> You're wacky too, girl. <laughs> um, so, yeah, she seems pretty impressed. And it does seem that Bezin. Um, if anyone is in charge in a communalistic society like this, it does seem like it's best. So he's going to ask you guys, um, so everything was okay on the rest of your trip up? I heard that there was a statue that came alive? Yeah. It was a mess. It's kind of weird, but we took it down pretty quickly. Yeah. Everyone else ran away. Can you believe that? Only Bricks helped us. Do you know Bricks? Um, he's going to say the um that woman, um, the orc woman, right? Yeah, we're pretty yes. sure the little hairs did it. Um, brought the statue to life. Yeah, because they hate mm. orcs. Yeah. She really has a, a big that lady, the mom, Madame Leger. She has an attitude problem about you know people just when they look different from her. Hmm. I wouldn't put it past a rich and powerful family like that, but what? I'm still confused as like what the goal was there, because I mean. It's not surprising that you guys were able to take it down. There must have been, I mean, I don't know. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me. Can you do a perception check and see if it makes sense? <laughs> <laughs> um, just he's just kind of like racking his brain a little bit. What was the statue of again that came to life? The orc it was, got it. Yeah, it was the statue of Luthic. Mm. Well, I wonder if they did it so that people would think that the orc goddess is like coming and the orcs are trying to take over and then they could create a dialogue around that. You know? Maybe. Karas is going to kind of laugh when you say that. Like, would it be so bad if the orcs took over? No, I mean, really, it shouldn't be like, that shouldn't be the the end goal or anything, I guess, that necessarily anyone specific takes over, but more so that those who are wanting to take over for negative reasons are not able to take over. Making sure those people don't get into power. Because then that leaves room for the people that actually want to do good to get into power. But I'm still learning a lot about the world, you know? No, yeah. I don't know, yeah. Kiva, that sounds, that sounds right to me. You're making a lot of sense, little halfling. Well, oh, thanks. I owe it all to my friends. So why are you all here? To find you and your group, and also these flowers. <laughs> um, okay. Do you know how uh, to make tea? I was, somebody told me if I got them these flowers, they would teach me how to make tea, but I'm just, I'm wondering if maybe I could learn a little sooner. Is that like a riddle? <laughs> no. You know how to make tea with these flowers? Yeah, that's those are tetralist flowers. You um 
tea? I'm sorry, I don't understand. What do you mean, make tea? Do you literally mean make tea? Yes, because you drink the tea and then you fly, right? Well, you float, but sure. I guess I'm just confused. You don't know how to make tea. <laughs> <laughs> it's my um, hubris. Um, sure, yes. Is that what they call it? Fatal flaw? Your rosebud? <laughs> um, if you have any spare flowers, sure, I'd be happy to uh, show you how to make tea. Cool. Can I make it now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you want to float now? Yeah. Cool. Um, the the communal hall probably has a stove that's just constantly on. So he's going to say, okay, come follow me. Um, he's going to grab a pot. He's going to hand it to you. He's going to say, okay, walk down to the river and fill this pot with water. Okay. okay you can do that. And then you're going to come back. Yeah. Okay. Um, so he's going to say, hand me the pot. Okay, here you go. Okay, now this is very important. We're going to take this pot. We're going <laughs> to put it over this flame. Okay. Now, you're drinking wait, is, that, tea? is that tea you're drinking right there? <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, this listening. water, this water is gonna start boiling. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, while we're waiting, he's gonna hand you a cup. He's gonna say, "Okay, when you take some of those flowers, I mm -hmm. want you to place them in the cup." Oh my God, it's going yeah. crazy. Okay. Yeah, she just flew into the wall. Um, and then we're going to pour, well, first of all, the water's going to boil, mm -hmm. but then we want to take it off the heat because we don't want to pour boiling water over these delicate flowers. Okay. We want it to be hot, but we don't want it to be boiling. Oh, wow. This is a lot. Okay. So we're going to take it off the boil. We're going to wait like 20 seconds. Oof. Very specific. Okay. And then we're going to gently pour the hot water into the cup with the flower petals. Uh -huh. And we're going to take the stirrer stick, slowly stir it up. <laughs> I think if this were a fancier place, we would have put the flowers into their own vessel so that we could take that vessel out when we're ready. <laughs> but we're kind of roughing it out here. So we're just going to have to make do. OK. But w. <laughs> we're done uh, mixing. We're going to just let it stand for two minutes. Oh, okay. Two minutes. Two minutes. And then it's ready to drink. Wow. Okay. And then I drink my tea. Um, yeah, now I'm going to look at what wow. it does to you. I usually do four minutes. Is that too long? Uh, for certain, for certain teas, four minutes is perfect. But for the tetralis tea, you 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 only want to wait two minutes. Oh wow! The uh, more you otherwise, know. it's it's going to taste a little over extracted. Um... Anyway, <laughs> Phelan, for the next hour, you have double movement speed and feather fall. Wow! Can I make a big batch of this and keep it in like a water skein? So um. Yeah, uh, so I was thinking that, like, you making this one cup probably wouldn't be a big deal. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, really. You can make as much as you want, because on the way back, when you go back to um, the tea merchant, you can just pick more flowers. Mm -hmm. So sure, make as much as you want. And then, like, it doesn't have to be fresh for it to work? No. Yeah. I would like to get a large 
animal skin bladder and fill it with pee. And I would like to carry it with me throughout my adventures. All right, that's probably going to be good for like six cups. Okay. And to how much of my jar does it take to make that? It's probably going to take like the whole jar. But okay. it's not really going to be like a problem to refill the jar. Like that. Okay. All right, I'm going to say thank you, Bezin, so much. You have really enlightened this little half elf on this evening. <laughs> So yeah, um, you guys just kind of watched Bezin and Taylor leave for like 10 minutes. But now they're back. Phelan has her tea and Bezin is going to apologize for um, how he left you guys back at the inn. That's okay. <laughs> I'm also kind of wondering if any of you noticed that he left. <laughs> Oh, I would have had noticed, yeah. Yeah, Wait, no, I know your characters right probably. Now? No, um, when you guys were at the inn saving Kyle, mm. when you oh. came back after having saved Kyle, Karas slash Bezin and his group had already left. Oh my gosh. I'm in oh, I forgot I about that. that. You wouldn't believe it. I had my eyes all over Kyle like a big dummy you know you always have that that moment with a crush and I I'm so sorry to say I didn't realize that we didn't get to say goodbye that particular evening and now you brought it up to me and I feel so bad so I goodbye and hello <laughs> okay very poetic thank you uh, but yeah, I mean, I guess if you guys didn't notice, it, it wasn't a big deal, but I'm, I'm sorry we had to leave so abruptly, and I'm glad that Kyle is okay. Why did you leave, by the way? Uh, we had business. I really couldn't wait. Mm. LDS business. Yes, <laughs> Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. <laughs> Well, because we grew up in Apple Valley. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so he's gonna say, yeah, it was um, it was FLM business, and I hope you're all okay with that. I'm all... honestly a little bit upset that you didn't invite me at that moment. Well, you had a job to do, and I had a job to do, but it seems like fate has brought us all back together. The fates. Destiny. <laughs> Serendipitous. Can I ask him if he has encountered the trees in the forest? Yes. Uh, he knows about the dryads that watch over the forest. Um, he knows that, uh, yeah, these forests are protected by various spirits. Okay. Did you guys meet the dryads? <laughs> did we meet or beat? Both. Did, did they beat <laughs> your meat? <laughs> they tried. Um, would you tell them that you guys fought them? I wouldn't. Yeah, I don't know. It feels kind of wrong brought, that we did. Uh, I feel like if it got brought up, then Kita would have said, like, like, oh, yeah, we did meet them. And the one told us that, um, you know, we just need to watch our back, basically. And we will. Mm. And don't cut down any trees. I hear they don't like that. Right. Right. That, too. Yes. Listen, um, I feel like I couldn't let this serendipitous meeting go to waste. It's almost as if you guys were fated to come. And I think it would be a it's poor reflection. It's Phelan. <laughs> I think it would be a poor reflection on me as a leader 
if I didn't try to take advantage of the situation in a way that benefited us all. Mm-hmm. But before I ask, I just have to know, are you guys okay with helping out people who are technically on the wrong side of the law? I know you all have past experiences with law enforcement, and I totally understand if maybe you wouldn't want to get involved in any of that. As long as they're not evil, it's fine by me. Yeah, I have found that those who claim to be lawful, truly, are not that way. So... I prefer to judge people by their actions, not their words. Personality trait. <laughs> Anyone else? Roki's just out here for some adventure, so she's just going to step up and be like, hell yeah, I'm in. <laughs> Verna is looking at you, Dreyfus, really curious as to what you're going to say. I'm going to say, wherever you go, I'll follow. Oh my god, already? <laughs> I feel like we've been doing it for a while now, right? Oh yeah, you've got a buzz going. I was about to ask her to show me where her house was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, that's great. Um, so... You guys are headed back little... to the city, right? Yeah, I guess I want clarification. He's just asking us if we're cool to basically work side by side with him, not necessarily to join this group. Or is he asking us because I, I guess Kita just wants, well, I, you know, maybe Kita wouldn't even ask a follow up. She would just think, because I first took it as he's just asking us to, if we're okay with working side by side. So, yeah, I mean, you could feel free to ask any follow up questions you want or not. Hmm. Let me take a look at my character sheet real quick. Would <laughs> I do that? <laughs> I guess no, I'll ask, I don't is think... there room for us? Would we be staying here with you or what all exactly did you have in mind? You're welcome to stay in the village as long as you want. Um, there's plenty of room. Uh, be like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I wasn't. Um, I wasn't necessarily asking if you guys would have want to officially join the movement. So you're of course more than welcome to. I think you guys would make excellent additions. But I am going to ask a favor. Mm -hmm. Which is? I need you to deliver this letter. And I would just ask that you not open it. I need you to deliver it to someone back in Doge Is it someone Ooh. we know? Who is it? Uh, there is a priest in training at the Luthic Temple. If you could just deliver this letter to him, I would really, really appreciate it. It's probably not safe for people uh, in the movement to be traveling into the city at the moment. Should we say who it's from or just kind of give it to him and he'll know what that means? Yeah, you don't have to say anything. They'll know, they're expecting this letter. Okay. okay. No harm will come to those that receive this letter. This is not something that is going to uh, explode when they open it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they are a friend. How does everyone else feel? I, yeah. I'm going home, baby. I'm in it to win it. Do you have a sending stone so that we can stay in contact at all times? Funny you should ask. <gasps> Before you left, 
he was going to offer you, Phelan, a sending stone. Mm. Oh. Wow, Phelan, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Uh, so, yeah, who, who would be responsible for holding on to the letter? I feel like he needed it. Well, I don't want to offer you but you I mean I would <laughs> if no one offers then I would step up and put my hand out and take it okay he's going to hand you a folded up and wax sealed letter um, and he's going to say take good care of this and make sure uh no one else sees you hand this to groom Okay. Uh, sorry. His name is Gru, <laughs> like um, the Despicable Me. G R U M. Gru. Like the fucking you know boyfriend. Listen, Did you know that he dating the Legere's daughter? World. Yeah, he is dating the Legere's daughter. She's very happy with him. Did you know that? Did uh, Bezin know that? Yeah. No. What are Do you your know Gru? Yeah. Yes. We oh. met him at the temple already, so it won't even be weird if people see us go talk to him again. Well, that's perfect. And also, he's dating a Legere. Mm hmm Is it serious? She's like the rebel daughter, and they seem to really be hitting it off, but it's very new. And also, she's betrothed to the other rich family. Yeah. Non-org. And, and her mom is racist against orgs, which is a total BS. Mm, ugly stuff. We are allies. As you can see, we have a half-orc in our party. <laughs> <laughs> Ally. Ally. <laughs> That's right. We are O-R-C. So oh. tell me, is Groom part of your um, group? He is, as you would say, an ally. Wow, I like that. What is we have? World? We have supporters uh, all throughout the island. There are plenty of people. If hmm? Olivia Loger is also, who's that? <laughs> Which one's Olivia? Is she Wait. the one that's dating him? Or is she the... About the girlfriend? Yeah. That's um, oh, Tasha. Tasha. Uh, He's... Tasha, Olivia, tomato, tomato. Bezin has heard of the Legere family, but he doesn't know any of them like by name. Well, this is, we thought that they her mom made the statue come to life. Yeah. Do you have any evidence? Her bad attitude. Yeah, and she's a bit racist. You finish it. You get it. You get it <laughs> now. <laughs> um, Cheers. Okay. A bit racist. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying you guys are wrong. You might be on the right track, but just being a bit racist and rude isn't um, isn't evidence enough. So. Yeah, we know, Mr. Lawyer. Okay. But for now, a hunch is what we got. Okay, I'm just saying, <laughs> I encourage you to follow your hunch. Maybe maybe you're on to something. Maybe into Notre Dame. Hmm? My hunch into Notre Dame. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> hunch, Bach. Wow. <laughs> Bach. I'm Bach. Okay, so sorry. Continue. So okay. you don't really know the comings of goings of Doge Cabral is what you're telling me. Do or do not? Do not. Um, well, I'm originally from Doge Cabral, but yeah, I'm not I'm not so up on the intimate comings and goings of are you inviting Groom to be a part of something that you're not inviting us to be a part of? Groom and I have a pre-established relationship. I'm not inviting him into anything. 
I'm simply relaying information to him. Can I know? There may come a time <laughs> when you all will know a lot more about what's happening with the FLM movement. You don't want to just take this letter back and edit it and just tell Groom to like let us know what's going on after he reads the letter? What? Don't worry. I'm not going to let Aaron touch the letter. <laughs> <laughs> It's wine. Oh, Vanya got us such crazy wine. Don't pay attention to me. A little so crazy. Hey, but I do have a question for you. Uh, do, what do you prefer, Karask, Bezin, Bren? What is your? I have, I have many names that I go by. You should feel welcome to call me whatever you like. Okay. The people here know me as Bezin. Which no means Karask. I respond to them all. Okay, well, Luther, I am wondering if you would just answer one question for me, and then I think I would be comfortable moving forward with, um, you know, anything that would need to be done going to help your group and make sure that we're just all on the same page. Absolutely. Do you feel that you should be the one in charge and everyone answers to you personally? Or is the feeling that there will eventually be a council that is making decisions for the group of people that you would be representing i just want to know what kind of leadership we are supporting i caressed and not seeking any form of leadership that would not be granted to me by the people of Labasque. That said, I serve another. Okay. So if you believe in people Stating who they would like to represent them. You wouldn't be a, a tyrant. No, we seek to replace the tyrant. Perfect. Okay, well then I feel comfortable helping out. Uh, not saying I'm joining your group, but I think we can deliver this letter. And Groom is our friend, so that is really cool. Um, and I am just so excited about all of these fun little adventures. That we are going on together, you guys. Look at us. We all we were in jail. Did you know we all met in jail? Yes. Henrik told me where um where he hired you all from. I think that's great. Look at us now. Oh my god. So of course you're all welcome to stay the night, get your rest. Um I would like this letter delivered hopefully by tomorrow though. End of day, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Close of business tomorrow. I think we'll be fine. Okay. What is the business term closing in this village? Like a, a sundown? Is it a time? Is it a, a feeling? Most people are uh, working sun up till sundown, cultivating their little plots. Sundown. Perfect. Just a quick question. Do you not have like another sending stone you want us to give to him? It might be an easier form of communication <laughs> sending letters. That's a good point. Um, sending stones are not 100% encrypted secure. Gotcha. So that's actually a good point. Um, of course, feel free to communicate with me through the sending stone. Just make sure 
that you're being a little bit a little bit smart about the things you say. Well, well, it's yeah, not a guarantee. <laughs> yes, I can tell. You're all very smart. But you, you can never be entirely certain that someone else isn't listening in. Mm-hmm. And it's very important that this message get to groom and no one else sees it. Okay. If for some reason, let's just say, I want to put a situation to you. We are, you know, in a fight with some losers from the Joaquin company who claim they're watching over bridges and then really they're not and they're being jerks. And then they try to steal this letter. Should I destroy it? The letter? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. It's the kind of thing like okay. it has to only be in for his eyes. Okay. I need to do everything I can. This is basically, I'm taking care of this. Like it is my child. You got it. Yes. If your child <laughs> is in danger of being kidnapped, you should burn it. Yes. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're in agreement. Um, so you can ask me any any other questions you like, but that's all I have for you. Um, you're welcome to party with us tonight and head off in the morning. Dungeon King, we can hear the restaurant through your mic. Oh, I'll close the window. Oh, I was wondering what that was. That restaurant is delicious. Yeah, give me diarrhea though. Yeah, but it was birthday <laughs> diarrhea, so it was okay. <laughs> Did you forget we were streaming? Oh, <laughs> I'm lactose intolerant, people, and I ate a whole plate of cheese and a bunch of pasta. And it was birthday cheese. It was so good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Never forget. Okay. You guys, should we get drunk? And then make out with people. I won't throw yeah. up in anyone's <laughs> mouth. <this time. laughs> yes, let's all get Dreyfus inside <laughs> of Varia. Varna's Varna. <laughs> let's get him in Varnarna. <laughs> Varnarnia. <laughs> in there. Okay, guys, what's the plan? When was the last time anyone had to wingman someone? I feel like you're all a little <laughs> inexperienced in that. Drinking! <laughs> Let's do drinking game! Drinking game! <laughs> you guys, have you ever heard of spin a bottle? <laughs> Varna, we love drinking games. Do you want to play a drinking game with us? Yeah. Have you- Bethan, yeah. do you want to play a drinking Hansjall. Have you ever no. heard seven minutes in Hansjall? <laughs> <laughs> um, she would be pretty interested, though. If you're so, you're a follower of Hansjall. Oh yeah, are you? No, but what is what is his deal? He's just all about the good vibes, you know. He good energy, be good people, just party, live your best life. Don't uh, uh that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um Hansioth kind of sounds like Lyra. Oh yeah. Yeah, Lyra, she's the joy bringer. Hey. Alright. Um, Verna is a follower of Lyra. You can read about her there if you want, but it's very interesting that you're like your god is like into partying and like happiness. That's what my god's into. That Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say, oh my gosh, you guys should totally go into the corner and praise your gods. 
Yes. I'll help. Yeah, we put them <laughs> together and kind of push our faces toward each other. I'll sit in the middle and <laughs> we can all praise together. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> I usually like to praise my God in private. Like alone? I mean, not really, but <laughs> <laughs> you just mean... away, away from your friends. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you were just gonna be like, I'm gonna go to my room. I, and drink. <laughs> I was trying to hint to her that we should go separate <laughs> from my crazy friends. <laughs> All right, I can take a hint. Hey Varna, Varna, do you have who who is um wait, I already asked you. You are so pretty. Oh my god. Did you know like your beard? Because dwarven women have beards, right? Your beard is like really lush. And I feel <laughs> like if you let me braid it and then I braided Drivus's beard together and then I braided your guys' beard together, it would be so freaking cute. And then I try wow. to get her hair together and braid it. <laughs> Why is Keita so unlikable? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I was so have an intervention about Kita's behavior <laughs> in the party. <laughs> so I Barna know. is going to take all of this in stride. She's going to say, Dreyfus, your friends are hilarious. Um, Thank you. They are a hoot. I agree. Uh, so tell me more about this Lyra. Well, um, all of my family... Um, we are all followers of Lyra. Um, yeah, I don't know. She's just, she's just great, and I'd like to consider myself a joy bringer. And um, mm. I just, I, all I care about is trying to make the world like a joyful place, and that's kind of what led me into the Free Labasque movement. Because I don't know if you noticed, but the the Joaquin company doesn't really bring any joy to people's lives except their own. Yes. <laughs> Why <are> your, voice... <laughs> your voice got deeper. <laughs> well, I love that. Uh, speaking of family, so what? You're all here together in this village, or are they? Here? Um. So my sisters are here with me. I've got two sisters. Um. But no, we're not from here. We're from um, we're from the mountains in the in the center of the island. Oh, me too. I think <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> are you cousins? And then you guys can't kiss. <laughs> so, yeah, she's um, but most of the dwarves in um, Labasque live in the mountains, but plenty of them uh, filter out throughout. Uh, and yeah, she's uh, she considers herself a bit of an adventurer like you, and yeah, she got in with the Free Labasque movement, and this is this is where they're camped out. That's awesome, and so what, you like live with your sisters in one of these um houses, or yeah, um, it's that one, it's that one over there. Did you want like a? I can give you a tour. Yeah. That, that would be really cool. Maybe, do you have some more, like, ale over there? Oh, yeah. Cool, yeah. I would All love right. <laughs> without my friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, <laughs> Varda and Dreyfus are going to sneak off to Varna's house. Um, I'm not going to role play the rest of what happens, but <laughs> Dreyfus, wh why don't you roll me a D100? Doctor. No, I want to see Dreyfus flirt more. I know. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> if you rolled anything uh, above a 90, I was going to say that you got lucky, but you definitely do hand stuff. Okay. Ooh. That's cool. So, congrats. Yeah. <laughs> Second base. <laughs> 
I guess depending on the vibe, I don't want to, you know, get into the details about that, but sure. Keep if going. I would like to somehow coyly be like, <laughs> okay, maybe it's going to have to get a little detail. I want to know the details. I want to know. Do you guys have anything to do with making that statue come to life? <laughs> oh. But like I'm gonna do it in like by not ruining the moment, hopefully. Like, like when so he's feeling he's before. So are you asking this before or after you guys yeah. come? Oh, the hell yeah. Uh I guess after. It'd be after. Okay, good. Because if you said before, I was gonna have to change history and say you did not do hand stuff. <laughs> <laughs> So okay, but you do it okay, after. Wait, wait, wait. Who's and hand? I'm also saying it in a way where it's definitely, I'm not against it at, by any means. I think it's cool, but I'm just like, just curious. Do you guys have anything to do? Also, can we get details on who's, whose hands on which things? Yeah. Details. Details. Um, I mean, it's hand stuff. What? <laughs> so both hands on all the things? <laughs> Just but hit well, the pole as well. Um, Did he reciprocate? Hello? Oh, yeah. Well, that, that's up to Dreyfus, actually. Okay, Dreyfus, let us know what happened. I yeah. thought we weren't going into the details. <laughs> well, you it said seems Kim also said until you guys come, so I think there was reciproc reciprocation. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Like within the time, like what was the time between each? Like how long did we spend? I'm I'm gonna just say that it was simultaneous and it was beautiful. I'm gonna say 37 minutes. <laughs> 37 minutes. Oh, that's a long time. That's for those he must have a high constitution. <laughs> Uh, all right. I'm adding that in the notes. Okay, but can I hook up with um the other guy? I'm gonna. So what did she say about me? Uh, yeah. So I need to I need to know more actually because do you actually think it's cool if they did it or are you pretending that you think it's cool? Hmm. That's actually a fair point. I guess I'd be more pretending. <laughs> All right, so that would be a deception. Mm. When did I get myself into sex? <laughs> I just get away with it. Religion shows the bounce. Got something like that. Oh, this is Taylor Swift. Should I be rolling a deception right now? <laughs> if you want to, you haven't rolled anything, so nothing set in stone here. I think it could it be an advantage because we yeah. just had sex. <laughs> you're in that. You're in the afterglow. Yeah. Oh, Taylor sure. Swift. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think that's decently high. So what what are you asking her again? Sorry. I haven't. <laughs> I mean, you said, I wrote it down. Speaking of rock hard, did you guys make the statue come to life? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the I, <laughs> I missed that. I only heard the last part. Oh, my God. Oh, that's why he said, can I get a little? I know you don't want to. <laughs> and then went. <laughs> oh wow that's really clever Dreyfus um <laughs> extra advantage <laughs> she's gonna she's gonna say I don't think we did if we did um not everyone knew about it because I certainly didn't know about it oh <laughs> <laughs> that was a very clever pun thanks <laughs> I'm gonna just kiss her and. <laughs> Dumb. 
Ah, Mr. Romantic. Isn't it romantic? <laughs> uh, so, Phelan, you said something that you wanted. To, did you want to try to seduce Bezin? No, it's okay. Okay, good. I mean, I want to, but I'm not going to. Maybe in another time, in another place. Yeah, the time just isn't right right now, you know, like the feelings mm -hmm. are there, but can I try to seduce Bezin? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, you right. did it okay. I, I'm pretty sure Keto went after Roki's man too. And Keto went after Dreyfus's man with Kyle. Whoa. So Kita is just a home wrecker, I think. Actually, Kita's you know, just out Kita, here having fun. Kita sees you guys as inspiration, and she thinks, "Oh, that's a cool person to try to like." It's like, <laughs> oh, you know what Kita is? It's like Linda Belcher's sister. How she always tries to hook up with her boyfriend <laughs> or husband. Yes. No. Yeah. Yeah. Like no. <laughs> Gale um, <what> the wind. <laughs> so, Roki, do you want to try to hook up with anyone tonight? No, but <laughs> <laughs> I am going to have a drunk moment and I'm going to call my girls over, Phelan and Akita, and I'm going to like back in the menu corner and be like, girls moment, girls moment. Kissing? Yeah. <laughs> Practice kissing? Yes! <laughs> Coming! Girls moment! <laughs> and I'm gonna say, I don't know, like, I'm just thinking, and I might be a little drunk, but don't you think it's kind of a huge coincidence that Groom is a part of this? And, like, what if he's just dating that leisure girl to get close to, like, the human elite in town. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Good. Yeah. They should be toppled. But do but you think he's like, do you think their, do you think their relationship is genuine or do you think he's just trying to be a mole? I think we, that is a good point and we should probably interrogate him with lots of insight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it never hurts to ask more questions. It only hurts when you don't ask enough. Right? Right? My mom taught me that. I hadn't considered that he wasn't true. Yeah, they could be lying. Oh. I don't know. But I don't judge people by their words. I mean, there's just a lot of coincidences tonight. A lot of people being brought up that we've already met along our travels. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. Do you think it also could be because they are like trying to pin something on us since we've already been in jail? No, Bazin would never. I hope not. Well, you should kiss him and then go find out. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to get really drunk and I'm going to ask Bezin. Oh. Is there a Mrs. Bezin? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Phelan, you are a very smart, accomplished young woman. Oh, Mama me. You forgot beautiful. <laughs> yes you are beautiful as well um <laughs> there is no mrs bezin but i don't think that i have the time in my life to have a mrs bezin mm, another time is you have a mr bezin <laughs> no there's also no mr bezin mr uh, bezin is my father call me bezin <laughs> Mother. Oh, Bezin, you're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mama Mia. Okay, I'm not going to push it. 
push it real good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there anything else you guys want to do tonight? I want to fill up my jar with more tetraflora flower. So it is nighttime. I just assumed you would want to do that like on your way back to Doge Cabral. I just don't want to forget. Okay. Anyone else? Is it sleepy time? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. All right. Excuse me. I'm sneezy tonight. Can we take like a seven minute break then and come back at 10 till? Her. Don't go anywhere. Yeah. Don't turn that dial. <laughs> Don't turn it.
We are back. Back we, we are. are. Back. Um so we left off everyone going Betty by after a very successful party. Am I right, Dreyfus? Yeah. <laughs> um Young Love and they Someone in the gang be finally, finally got lucky. It took us seven sessions. Oh, uh, lucky number seven. Oh. We did it, guys. Um, we can end the campaign now. The yeah, end. Yeah, that, that was it. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the sun will rise on a new day. And um, I mean, you guys will probably have like a light breakfast if you want, but... Bezin did make it clear that he kind of wants you guys to like get on the road, deliver this message as soon as you can. Yeah. Um, but if you have any like last minute business you want to attend to while you're still in the village, feel free. Um, I'm gonna sending stone Bezin and say, no, no, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna find him in person and say, hey, are there any other F L B? um people that i should connect with you think and um doge cabral besides groom of course and and is it okay if i tell groom that i'm like in with <laughs> i think by delivering the letter <laughs> this is um bezin telling you this i think by delivering the letter groom will know that you can be trusted um, I don't think he's going to show you what's in the letter. Uh, not that I am accusing you of being like overly, overly snoopy or anything like that. But she as, is. Far as, <laughs> as far as as uh, far as far as other, I, I noticed that he doesn't like a ball. <laughs> Sorry, as, on, uh, as far as other FLM members um <laughs> oh no we lost Kita. <laughs> as far as other members um i wouldn't worry about that so much um you know because i Groom. met these four dorks do you know the dorks um um four dorks I'm not sure I follow. You have to be more specific. Ugh. Does anyone know the dorks' names? <laughs> they meet in a library. They're talking about rebellion, and they are dorks. Are they students? Yes. Um, I don't think I know any, like, students or, like, student groups. Um dorks discussing organized rebellion <laughs> successfully they cavort with um that yeah, one yeah. buff boy half orc i don't know who you're talking about you know you know the juicy juicy ripe tomato the are you talking to the dm or are you talking to peasant <laughs> 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 Or are you talking to your man? <laughs> okay, forget it. You don't know the dorks. I guess they're not worth your time. Yeah, a whale's penis? Is, is that, that a dork? Isn't that, yes. that a word for dork? Yeah. Weren't you in middle school? You didn't hear this in middle school? <laughs> That's what I found out. <laughs> I don't remember things. From um, actually, a dork oh. is a whale's penis, so you're actually calling me something huge. Yeah, and cool. <laughs> and really cool. God, that's still a cell phone. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm calling you a dick. Okay. Ding dong. <laughs> Moving on. Okay. Anyone else before we go? I would like to thank my lady for a wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Um, I tell her I'll be back after this short little jaunt to the downtown. 
Uh, don't be too long. Don't be a stranger, Dreyfus. Oh, of course not. What? Oh, you have your girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. Does, does <laughs> Kita say that? Yes, I do. I say that. And I want him to absolutely answer the way you respond. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys hear that? It was so smooth. <laughs> no, I didn't hear it. It was too quiet. Oh, my God. Oh, too All funny. right, are we heading out? Yes. I take the letter and I have hidden it in my shoe. <laughs> 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 okay. I kind of fold it up and I put it at the toe, like sitting on top of my toes. It's right there in my shoe. But you're not stepping on it, making it all nasty. Exactly. It's on top. But also, Perfect. like, I have, um, you know, like, probably some kind of linen sock, whatever they did back in the day, a stocking of some sort, and then the ladder, and then my sapato. <laughs> when did people start in socks? Socks. <laughs> Is the plan to pull it out of your shoe and leave it? Well, no, on? I just, I don't know. I feel like Kita would overthink it and be like, oh, if someone was looking for a letter on me, they would look in like my pack or, you know, by my chest or something where someone would hide it. So she like thinks I'm going to hide it in my shoe. <laughs> Clever. This is why you were handed the letter. That's right. Um, so we're heading out. I, uh, we're going to take a little detour to the clearing so that Phelan can refill her jar of flowers. Um, yeah, he is anyone curious? One jar? What? No, what he, he wanted you. He wanted you all to fill up jars, which he did. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. A little selfish, but fine. <laughs> I mean, you're the one who made your own batch of tea. No one asked. No one asked. <laughs> well, the party is certainly going to notice when you're like, hey, guys, I just need to take a little pit stop here real quick. I told them when we got back. They know. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, when? I didn't. I don't remember. How okay. do you guys feel oh. about that? <laughs> I thought it was... Uh funny <laughs> hmm. well i'm sure she'll share i'm a little confused but maybe i forgot <laughs> well yeah, does okay. anybody else want to make tea for themselves before we go now that we're all leaving not good. <laughs> <laughs> i don't even know how to make tea okay well it's very complicated i don't know if i have <laughs> I don't know if I have the expertise I just learned myself. The expertise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're heading back home. How long is the trip back or how long should it be? Um, I'd say it's going to be like a 10 hour hike. Wow, okay. Yeah, it's um not the easiest trip, but again, you guys are freaking adventurers. Yeah. You should be able to um, handle it no problem. Mm -hmm. And if you'll just give me one second here. Great. Are you going to ambush us? No, gosh. I'm just rolling this dice. Sure. Okay, cool. Weird. This, this die, I mean. Oh, wait. So we did get a long rest now, right? Yeah. You got a really long rest. A oh. deep and restful sleep. Oh. You might call it a respiratory. Rest a what? Yes, huh? you may call it that. A <laughs> refractory period. 
Uh, okay, this is going to be a pretty uh, uneventful hike back. Cool. So let's just skip back to town. It's been well, 10 hours. I, oh, yeah, go ahead. Can I say to the group, hey, I want to make sure we're not telling anybody that we met these guys right we're just telling them we found the flowers and then we are coming back right i just i want to make sure that i don't say anything i'm not supposed to say i think we should tell people we found the loggers but i don't think we should tell people about bezin we did find the loggers yeah they were um we saved them from oh the... right before before right mm -hmm. well you saved one of them the rest were already dead all right Okay. Yes, we found the logger, and then we continued on, and we found the flowers, and then we came back. Perfect. Yeah. Hi ho! <laughs> Hi ho! Hi ho! Hi ho! It's a hard <laughs> All right. Skipping to the end. Um, like I said, it was about a ten-hour hike. You left seven or eight o'clock, so it's like five. 5 30 when you guys get back um what are we doing first who was it that was wondering about the um was that bricks i was wondering about the loggers that was uh shithead simon oh and he tried to blame it on our buds okay mm. i would like to tell him to his face that he was a dummy so that would probably be well, he would probably be at um the Joaquin temple which is number four on the map there mm, i don't really want to go to the Joaquin temple. yeah we'll just make sure everyone else knows that he's a big dummy yeah 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 <laughs> okay so is that what what Water. are you doing first where is the letter return location? The Lutheran church. <laughs> the Luthic? <laughs> oh, it's actually not marked on the, um, on the map. Oh, but well, we know where it is, is right? <laughs> yeah, you know where it is. Okay. It's <clears throat> right here where um, Ropey is. Okay. Her. So you guys are going to deliver the letter first? Yes. Before we get there, I'm going to move the letter from my shoe very stealthily. And I'm going to move it into, you know, my wrist area so that when I can do a handshake thing with him, I can try to pass it on. Because I very think clever. it's so slick. Bless you. Thank you. Hello. Um, so you enter the temple, and as before, you walk to the living areas, and you do spot Groom there, and also Tasha. Um, oh, hi, Groom and Tasha. It is so great to see you, and I go to Tasha, and I go to shake her hand if she shakes my hand does she shake my hand in return she does she seems a little surprised and i didn't know that you were on a handshake basis but sure she'll shake your hand and then i i go to shake groom's hand and i try to uh, do the pass off and you know you give the look in the eye while you do okay give us a sleight of hand oh mama mia okay hold on hold on and I get advantage because I am so smooth. Why? Why would you get advantage? Because I'm smooth. No. It's a slight of hand. <laughs> okay. So um, the letter, unfortunately, is going to drop from your hands. I say, um, oh, I think you dropped that. Um, 
because I'm so smooth. <laughs> roll, roll an insight. So um, he pretty like smoothly passes it off, but you definitely noticed a look of recognition when he saw the wax seal on that letter on the floor. And so he's going to say, uh, oh, um, no, that's not mine. Uh, I think it might be yours. You should hold on to it. Certainly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what are... What are you all doing here? Did you come to say hi? Yeah. I, are you certain that that was not <laughs> intended for you? The, is that, I'm confused. The letter that you dropped, um, he, he's going to, his eyes are going to glance over at Tasha. And he's going to say, no, I don't, unless you meant to give me a letter, but did you? Oh. I'm going to say, oh, you know what? That's my letter. And I'm going to grab it. Yes. Oh, thank you. You know, I drank a lot last night and I I'm going to say, <laughs> I'm going to say, sorry about her, bud. And then I'm going to like, kind of like tap him on the back and like go to leave, but I want to slide a hand it into his pocket. All right. Roll <laughs> it, baby. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Osiris is the one that has a really good sleight of hand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not going to do it, guys. <laughs> I say, oh, that stupid letter it always does that. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go up to Tasha and say, hey Tasha, we got the... were you telling us about these cool flowers? Did she tell us about that? <laughs> no. No. I charge but she... her the flowers. Have you seen she is flowers? she is gonna recognize them and she's gonna say, Holy shit, is that all Tetrilis flowers? Yeah. You guys went to go get Tetralis flowers? That's awesome. Yeah, we just came back. We got a shit ton. Uh, it's... Isn't there a way to make tea? I've never made tea before. Did you <laughs> make tea for me? <laughs> uh, she'll say, if you want to brew me a cup, I'll show you how. Yeah. Yeah, let's. She'll Where... say, okay, yeah, come on. There's a, there's a communal kitchen we can use. Sweet. Groom, baby, you coming with? And he'll say, uh, no, you, you two go on ahead. Oh, he's going to slap us. <laughs> so, Dreyfus, you're going to go off to the kitchen with uh, Tasha? Yeah. Okay. Uh, when you do, Groom is going to look back to Kita, <laughs> to Phelan, <laughs> and say, guys, what the fuck? I really thought that handoff was going to be so smooth. And I we had such a good day today with the serendipity and getting everything just right. And I built up this moment too much. And I carried the letter in my sock. And I'm so sorry. So it might smell like my sweat feet. And I just please don't, please, do you sweat. not tell <laughs> Resin about you can say okay, 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 okay. It's fine, it's fine. Just give me the letter. Slide of hand, do it. <laughs> Slide of hand. Me? Yeah, because you have it. <laughs> yeah, you you were the last one to have it, God. so you you don't have to slide of hand it. You can just hand <laughs> it to. <laughs> Oh, wait, I don't have anything left. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Roki's going to pick up the letter off the floor and just slap it into Groom's hand. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you, Roki. Uh, uh, so he's going to open up the letter, read it, 
and then fold it back up and say, okay, thank you. And then he is going to, um, what is he going to do? Oh, he's going to hold it over a candle by his bed and burn it. Ooh. And now the letter is gone. He's going to say, thank you guys for eventually delivering me the letter. I really appreciate it. Eventually? Yes. yes. Eventually. That's kind well, of we, mean. I'm sure you've had moments when you were just getting started and being really cool. Yeah. Yes. You know. Um thank you, Kita, for picking up on the fact that um my girlfriend doesn't really need to know about this, right? Right. Well, no one now that you mention it though. Oh right. Huh? Do you love her? I have deep feelings for Tasha. I've known her for about two and a half weeks now. So to say that I love her, I no, I don't. I don't we haven't spent enough time together for me to say that I love her, but I mean, I can certainly see a future with her. Is, but she doesn't... Like, how do you put together this life and that life? It's not going to be easy. And, you know, it's going to take some work. Some you think she's going to give up everything? Everything she has and all of her family? I think that she has very strong feelings for me as well. I think that those strong feelings are strong and that they but can get do through. You know what her feel I know you know that she has strong feelings for you, but do you know what her feelings on the Baskar? Look. I'm an orc. She's a human. We don't see things the way that maybe older generations might see things. We don't see things the way her mother might see things. And I think that she understands that maybe the world as it currently is structured isn't very fair. So have right now, checks on her. What have you done? Insight checks on her to make sure she's legit. I just think that if she were to know everything right now, it might freak her out a little bit. So I would just appreciate it if you guys could keep this on the down low for now, and over time, you know, we're gonna. We're going to learn more about each other, and she's going to learn more about me and my beliefs and my affiliations. And I think maybe we're going to, you know, fall in love. And through that love, we can conquer anything. Okay, I want to insight him. That's a pretty high role. He seems genuine. I don't, it doesn't seem like he's trying to pull something over on you. Wow. Okay. Is this the second time we've incited him to see if he's genuine about her? I think it is. Yeah. Oops. It's a pretty improbable love story, guys. Right. Well, we need to incite her next. Okay. Hmm. That's true. But we also need to, next time I see Roki, I'm going to debrief her on this conversation. Roki? Yeah, Roki's there, right? Yeah, like, oh, I, I I, I'm not standing there. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought Roki went to do tea. No, that was Dreyfus. Oh, sorry. I'm going to just shoot Roki a knowing look and be like, <laughs> I believe in <laughs> I believe in the thing I love. <laughs> All right. So you've delivered the letter. Bezin will be pleased. Oh, you should let him know. 
you guys are descending stones. Say, the eagle has landed. <laughs> I'm going to say, there are beautiful eagles around tonight, and they landed in the nest. <laughs> Does he say anything back? Say that again. I said there are beautiful eagles in the sky tonight. I just watched them land in their desk. Nest. <laughs> <laughs> um, you will get a response saying that sounds like good news. Is it? <laughs> yes, the eagles have returned to their babies in their nests. So it's good news. The babies will not be abandoned. <laughs> um, there will be a pregnant pause. <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> is is Roki there? Yes. Uh, I'm not sure how sending stones work. So, like, I don't know if you have to actually be holding the stone to respond. I'm going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> was what was asked of you accomplished? Yes. Excellent. And now we will be in touch. Totally abandoned. <laughs> <laughs> okay so he knows now that's great oh, the birds have burned up in the sky <laughs> <laughs> like a phoenix what uh, what would you like to do next um well, I, I'll let someone else up to gamble a space. I know you're not. <laughs> Let's go find people to flirt with at the bar for the last seven minutes. <laughs> well, I do want to go to Bricks and like tell her that we found the loggers because I believe she was oh. there for that conversation. Right? Sound, sound like a plan, everyone? Yes. Are you going to, like, grab me from the kitchen so I know you guys are done? Oh, um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So we're all together. So we're heading off to um, the Cloudstone Palace. The palace. To, with bricks. And she is going to be there. You will be let into her office. Uh, and she'll say, okay, um, any updates on your search? Yes. I have to tell you that we found the loggers. Simon's loggers? Yes. And they were attacked by tree spirits because they were doing things in places they weren't supposed to be. She's going to roll her eyes and be like, Simon is an idiot. Yes. Um, thank you. That's good news, I guess. Um, have you done any investigations? Uh, is there any update on your investigations? What investigations? I know that the last time we spoke, I encouraged you all to do some investigating on what's going on with the statue. Oh, yes, that is still in progress. We have a couple. Mm. Mm. Oh, Jarvis has something to say. Oh, we have a couple leads. <laughs> oh, okay, interesting. Uh, who? Too early to say. <laughs> We don't want to spoil anything, and you know, you once you say something, it's like that idea gets put out there, and <clears throat> we can't have our leads right now intertwine. Okay. Um. All right. Well, keep looking. I guess. 
and uh, feel free to come back to me if you if there are any updates. Yes, we can do that. So, uh, unless there's anything else, um, I should get back to work. But good, good job with the loggers. I'll let Simon know. Yeah, tell him that he really shouldn't be jumping to crazy conclusions. Yeah, quite embarrassing. Based on our lead. So you guys don't think it was the Free Labasque movement? That killed them? Yeah. No, we saved one of them from the... What are they called? Oh, dryads. right. The dryads. You did tell her that. Okay. Okay, yeah. So he was wrong about that, I guess. Um, yeah. And all it takes is going out there and looking one time and you get the answer. So there you go. Just so you know. <laughs> okay. Uh, are you like saying that because Simon is bad? Or are you implying that Brix is bad? The Simon. Okay. He would even yes. set, have you know someone go out and do this when it's so obvious. <laughs> so, um, are you guys done with her? Do we get a reward? Well, Simon might offer you an award, a reward, but Bricks didn't ask you to investigate the loggers. She doesn't really care about that. You asked specifically about. LeBron. What? LeBron? Yes. What? Wait, are you telling... What are you saying? Oh, no. I'm talking to myself half and half in my head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so, if you guys are done here, you can leave. Are you done with her? Good day. Yeah. All right. On your way out the door, however, someone is going to hustle in and almost collide with you. It is a, um, let's call him like a lieutenant of bricks, working for bricks, and he's going to say, there's been a break. We've made an arrest. And she's going to say, excellent. And he's going to lead in Four terrorists. Four. Wait, dork it's terrorists. no, not the dorks. Well, maybe they are terrorists of their own accord. Wait, what happened? Are they not a part of the Free Labasse movement? Do well, we know that they are? According to what's his name, their boss. Yeah. And so, um, Bricks is gonna say. Uh huh. Some uh, some student terrorists, is it? And none of them are talking, but both Bricks and the lieutenant seem pretty happy that they finally made an arrest in the uh, animated statue case. Um, Why do you think it? Oh, oh no! Yes, I was gonna just ask that same question. Yeah, why do you think it's them? Look at them. They're so weak and they obviously know nothing. Yeah, I mean, based so, on the leads, it's not them. Well, they're all kind of looking beat up. And he's going to say, they confessed. They did it. Um, You obviously hurt them and got a false confession. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Brix is going to be looking at you kind of sideways. Like, um... Like we made an arrest. They confessed. What oh my god, I hate you, are you what's happening here? Do we have a problem? Yes, we do. And you know, I speak up because the work that we did the last 24 hours was to help gather information since we were the ones that directly fought this statue. And from what we know. I'm not going to name specific names right now because of exactly a reason like this that we're 
seeing demonstrated in front of us a false arrest until all of the answers are presented. There is a specific family behind this. And by making this arrest here, you are going to allow the true terrorists to walk free. So can I ask this of you, my dear friend? Do not arrest these dorks. Perhaps I understand if maybe you want to hold them for 24 hours, let's say. Let us finish getting a little more information, but do not charge them with this because I am certain that it was not them. And we will come back with answers for you. And you can make a proper arrest and make a true announcement to the city. And also, um, we spoke with them because we were on a wild goose chase with a fuck boy, like right as the statue thing was happening. So they have an alibi. Yeah. Exactly. We're gonna have we to find know- fuck boy because he's gonna be the alibi. Hmm. Well, you four strangers to this city make an interesting argument. Yes, to the city. But I have a responsibility to the people of Doge Cabral to keep them safe. And I've got four people in here who just confessed to the crime. So, what were you doing with them right before they confessed? She's going to look to the lieutenant and say, you don't, you don't need to be asking these questions. You don't get to ask questions of my men like this. Uh, I think I've been plenty, I've been plenty patient with you all, but I think it's time you all left. Wait, Brick says that? Yes. To us? Yes. Is how you think those who protected your city? Uh, my patience is wearing thin. My men made a lawful arrest. It seems they got a confession. As far as I'm concerned, we're done here. Oh, Brix. Brix, I thought you were different. I think you need to leave. Oh, I'm leaving. Don't worry. And you know what? Next time you need some backup because a statue is about to smoosh you maybe don't pick up the phone and call us mm-hmm. yeah how's that okay <laughs> wow happy. i really hope that you're happy with yourself because you're going to be embarrassed that's true Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow, wow, wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Just wow. Wow. Okay, so we are we're wow. at about oh. we're, at, <laughs> we're at time here, unfortunately. Um, I know you're doing that on purpose and it's so annoying. Would you like to just quickly um, sell some leaves to a certain tea merchant? Oh, yes. I forgot about that. He's going to be very pleased. Please just punch to see that you're all back. All with jars of the fancy Tetra East flower. And it looks like you're each going to get 100 gold in exchange for your jars. Yay. What is the guy's name again? Dex. Right. Can I ask if this is the going rate? Like, can we just keep feeding these bad boys to him? How much does he need? Or do they need? Um, well, this is gonna hold him for a while. Like he's um he's gonna make some good money off of this. Uh, but if you ever find yourself like in the mountains again and you just want to pick it, like you'll find a buyer for it. Cool. 
Can we keep the jar? <laughs> no, he's gonna need the jars back, unfortunately. Okay. Oh. These were loner jars. Oh, oh he's like Rainbow Glow Shui. <laughs> no good uh, jar shopping. Yeah, I'm sure you could find someone willing to sell you some jars. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Goo 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 goo. Uh, any last things we want to do before wrapping tonight? I'm good. Okay. Well, great session, guys. I'm so glad we're back. Yay! Yeah. Except to feel the sting of injustice. Mm -hmm. I know. What a sour taste. Mm. Um. Mm -mm -mm. I think really you know thought someone. Bricks was not going to be like that. And then Bricks totally was like that. And I'm just like, wow, Bricks. All in all, he took on the Bricks in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Okay. Good night, everybody. Thanks, Dia. Love Dia. Bye. 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 See you later. Bye.